Welcome to BSc Statistics students. So in this lesson, I explain one more problem. In F test for equality of variances, a small sample test. You see here, this is the problem. The data is given. You have to calculate uh, the means and variances of the samples. You see here the problem read the problem two random samples of size 10 and 12 are drawn given and given below so two random samples of size 10 and 12 which means n1 is equal to 10 and 2 is equal to 12 which means uh, which are small samples hope you understand this is what uh, uh, which uh, you have to uh, consider and uh, the test the equality of population variances so it's a direct question it is a direct question, population variances, equality of population variances, hence uh, it is a uh, F test, F test for F, F test is only one test to test the equality of population variances, right. The sample 1 data is this 10, 6, 16, etc. and sample 2 data is this 7, 13, 22, etc. So, N1 is different from N2. So, where you have n1 is 10, n2 is 12, 10 observations here, 12 observations here. So, you see here first you consider n1 is equal to 10, n2 is equal to 12 and then you calculate uh, uh, xi, xi square, yj, yj square. These are the two values you have to calculate, two columns you have to calculate for the given values of xi and yj, xi square, yj square. You have to calculate uh, mean means and variances for two samples respectively so that we can find the remaining of the F test for the F test. You see here that is X i, X i square and Y j, Y j square have been calculated and their totals also have been calculated which means uh, uh, summation X i, summation X i square, summation Y j, summation Y j square all the values which means 12, 12 square this is xi, this is xi square, this is yj, this is yj square, 14, 14 square, like that the totals if you calculate summation xi, i is equal to 1 to n1 xi, 120 we got, uh, you, you check the values and summation i is equal to 1 to n1 xi square, some 1560 and summation j is equal to 1 to n2 yj, 170 etc. Summation j is equal to 1 to n2 yj square, as well, all the value we got, uh, 2774. So now you see the values, your, what are the values you have to calculate? First of all means x bar and y bar. What is the formula of x bar? 1 by n1 summation i is equal to 1 to n1 xi. Summation xi is 120 divided by n1 10, it is 12 the value. The y bar summation uh, 1 by n2 summation j is equal to 1 to n2 yj that is summation yj is 170 divided by n2 is 12. So some 14.17, check the values. And then you calculate S1 square and S2 square, small S1 square, small S2 square. Of course, you can calculate uh, capital S1 square and capital S2 square directly, whatever it is. So, S1 square is equal to 1 by N1 summation XI square minus X bar whole square. This is one another formula of the uh, simplified or uh, simple formula of the sample variance. So, it is summation XI square 1560 divided by N1 is 10 minus X bar 12 whole square so is equal to 12. And similarly, S2 square second sample variance 1 by N2 summation j is equal to 1 to N2 yj square minus y bar whole square. Summation yj square is 2774 divided by N2 is 12 minus y bar 14.17 whole square. So, this value is 30 point around. You calculate the value and verify, check it, check the values. And now you have to calculate capital S1 square and capital S2 square. I am always referring that uh, you calculate these two values first before calculating test statistic F. So, S1 square, capital S1 square is equal to N1 S1 square by N1 minus 1. This is small S1 square, sample variance. We have calculated here. 10 into N1 10, substitute the values S1 square, 12 whole, 12 square, this is square. Uh, S1 square is 12, that's that, that, right, right. It is, uh, it is okay. So, S1 square is 12 directly. So, 10 into 12 divided by 9 it is 13.33 and similarly S2 square for the second uh, sample N2 S2 square by N2 minus 1 
this is uh, 12 into s2 square is 30.38 uh, something 398 you check the value and uh, which one is correct you take the value and so that divided by 11 is equal to be 33.14 so s1 square s2 square capital s1 square capital s2 square calculated which is uh, less lesser one so that is uh, that is what you have to uh, consider because the formula of test test statistics under H0 depends on greater value is to be considered in the uh, numerator, right? So S1 square 13.33 divided and S2 square is 33.14. So obviously S1 square is less than S2 square, that is S2 square is greater than S1 square, okay? We see in the calculation of test statistics under H0. And uh, before that, uh, I'll tell you, you see, it is another way of calculation of capital S1 square, capital S2 square, right? Capital S1 square, this is the formula and capital S2 square, this is the formula. If, from this formula also, you can calculate, okay? And a null hypothesis, uh, I'm coming to the um, four points, uh, the four points you have to explain here and null hypothesis, H0, sigma 1 square equals sigma 2 square. That is two population variants are equal directly, refer the question and, and uh, uh, make the null hypothesis. So, uh, alternative hypothesis H1 sigma 1 square not equal to sigma 2 square. The two population variants are not equal. And test static under H0, that's what um, I have specified that S2 square is greater than S1 square. Capital S2 square is greater than S1 square. Therefore, F statistic is nothing but, uh, you see this is F statistic, it is uh, test statistic under H0, F is equal to S2 square by S1 square. Follows uh, F numerator degrees of freedom is n2 minus 1 denominator degrees of freedom is n1 minus 1 that is f n2 minus 1 n1 minus 1 okay we calculate we see the latter and uh, which is nothing but s2 square 33.14 divided by s1 square 13.33 the value is uh, 2.49 so in this way you have to calculate after calculating cap plus 1 square and cap plus 2 square you have to check whether which is greater right uh, if cap plus 1 square is greater than cap plus 2 square, then uh, the formula is S1 square by S2 square. If cap plus 2 square is greater than cap plus 1 square, then the formula of F is nothing but S2 square by S1 square. But this is the case, that's the second case. The, the fourth point inference or comparison and conclusion, there you have to consider capital F is equal to that is calculated value 2.49 and the tabulated value of F, F, F the alpha level of significance n2 minus 1 n1 minus 1 alpha is not given so you have to consider 5 percent and uh, n2 minus 1 11 and n1 minus 1 9 so 11 comma 9 degrees of freedom and at 5 percent level from the f tables the value is 3.10 so therefore you compare these two calculated value is 2.49 tablet value is 3.10 therefore 2.49 is less than 3.10 Therefore, F calculated value is less than F 5% comma 11 comma 9 degrees of freedom. Therefore, H0 is maybe accepted. H0 is accepted. H0 may be accepted. That is population variances. Two population variances are equal. That is our conclusion. The H0 is uh, population variances are equal. Therefore, two population variances are equal. That is our conclusion. Right? Conclusion of this particular uh, problem. Thank you.